Okay, Melody, uh, we're going to talk about how to uh, create a post in, um, in the WordPress website. And so here's the dashboard as you might initially come into the, the uh, when you first log in. And if you hover over posts, you see the different options. And before we, before we add new, let's look at, uh, go to all posts and we'll see what's created there um, and there are uh, there are nine posts that have been created as of now again posts are different than pages uh, pages are the, are the kind of the, the basic the core of the website and posts have been used for uh, the blog and um, let's look at a one that we have uh, uh, created uh, this was you know back in March and if you click on the title or edit it comes to here and you see that um, it initially comes up in what's called uh, visual uh, mode uh, where you actually see an image and you see the text in the basic rendering of the page um, I kind of recommend that you look at past, you look at a post like this to uh, to review how it's put together and some of the um, elements that make up the page. Uh, for instance, the uh, under categories, you can see that the Jim Rivet category selected. Uh, in this case, the Rivet News was not selected, but those are the two common ones that might be uh, might be selected. I, I don't think we're I think we're kind of getting away from the, the Rivet News so that we avoid kind of multiple sections. Um, for any post, you can add uh, tags, um, and they can basically be you know topics that that the uh, that the post is covering, and it's you know it's it's one to three word um, descriptions of what it's covering, and you can type them in. Um, you know, you can type in um, you know comp accomplishments, and hit just hit the enter key, and and it would be. And it would be uh, the tag would be added to this post, and it would be an option to be selected in other posts. And if you go down further, you can see that the for a sidebar selection, the the blog main was selected. Um, that's the right sidebar, um, and so all the blog entries have have that as a <clears throat> as a selected sidebar. Um, I'm not sure if it's really any different than than other pages sidebars, but it is, um, you know, it can be, uh, it's consistent so that if we do make changes to that specific sidebar, then this then this uh, then the sidebar on this post would also change accordingly. So there are some elements that we might be selected for every single post. Also, you see, if we if we uh, scroll down the center area, then <coughs> we have this section here called the SEO uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast, and um, there are a few things that you could incorporate, and um, uh, the SEO title is kind of what's what the uh, what the search engines, which you kind of give to the search engines as opposed to necessarily what is on the title here so you can you can see what how it is current how it would currently be uh, to be displayed um, so it's it would allow uh, right now if we did this then you know virtually all posts are kind of kind of have the same title which in a way you don't really want you we want to kind of um, have them Kind of defined, 
you know, a little more specific to the uh, the post that you are you're currently working on. So it might be the title, then it might be a another phrase or two that is also reflective of the content that you have in the post. Uh, but that's about it. You don't necessarily have to incorporate a description, which is again in search engines. If you there's there's the title, and then you see below it, there's a little uh, there the few sentences that are vi few sentences that are visible. Um, if it, if this isn't included, then it's simply going to pick up the content that's in the uh, post itself uh, to to be displayed in the um, in the search engine listing. Anyway, I think we'll stop there and uh, and go to and create a second uh, video.